cockroaches or bed bugs or house flies. My name is uh, Dr. G. Nagendra Prabhu. I teach in the uh, Department of uh, Zoology, Sanatana Dharma College. I use the aquatic weeds, which are in abundance in these backwaters, and try to find ways of utilizing them. The outside world and scientific community have already acknowledged Kutanad and these backwaters as a world heritage site, and it's a 900 square meter, square kilometer area. Marshy swamps, lowland areas, paddy fields, garden lands, birds, migratory birds as well as normal birds, fish, shrimps, mussels. There are special clams that grow in these areas. If you come in the morning, say around 11 o'clock, you will see lots of women doing their uh, daily course washing clothes or washing vessels, fishing or maybe take bath or something like that. What she catches will be for her lunch or for her dinner. When I was a small child, no, we had only country boats and very few motor boats and no house boats. People carry their boats just in front of their houses. On your left will be a boat jetty where people wait for the government boats like a bus stop. You can see paddy being harvested and it is being taken. These are the types of the original use. And now all these boats have been converted to houseboats. Ah, yes. Yep, here it is. The major invasive species now we see is Icornia crassipus, commonly called water hyacinth in English. These are uh, from South America and uh, since they had no competitors, plus the conditions were very favorable, nutrients are freely available, these weeds became a menace. So these roots of some species can grow very long, like the hair of a lady. And this one has got lots of air bubbles in it, which helps it to float. From a mother plant, you see lots of small, small plants growing. It's estimated that no, it will be double in a week's time. Man has not been able to eradicate any of the species. We have tried with mosquitoes or cockroaches or bed bugs or house flies or anything. So the concept has to change. We have to look at them as natural resources. Stem can be used for, as a material for pulp. They can be used as a bedding material for uh, mushroom cultivation which I have demonstrated very successfully with different types of mushrooms. As the you know, very famous saying goes, we have not inherited the world from our fathers, but we have borrowed this place from our next generation.